five, four, three, two, one. This is Left Side of the Brain. Good evening. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I don't know. Just decided to do a video. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in Organic Portalville, USA. And got to get some things off my chest. I'm walking around zombies. I'm walking around trivial people, AKA dead beats, better known as organic portals, soulless vessels. Yeah, y'all know, it's on man. But I want to say something that needs to be said. People looking at me like I'm crazy, like, what is this man doing? But I don't even care no more, man. You know what I'm saying? We're not living for others. Oh, and I haven't forgot. You will see me walking around in a costume. A Tom and Jerry costume. A Winnie the Pooh costume. And I'm gonna be walking around in public not giving a fuck. Cause I don't care man It's the left side of the brain Y'all know how we get down And um On this topic I want to talk about Relationships Why I hate relationships Because When you Are in a relationship You're basically saying That Another person other than myself is necessary to fill a void inside of me. Even when it's about sex. That's another aspect of living for others. But it's designed that way. It's designed that way because... Since the time of the great falling away, we were purposely divided into halves. We were purposely made males and we were purposely made females. So we would purposely feel incomplete. That's right. Let's play a little checkers, black and white, black and white, white and black. Black, black, white, 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 black. Let's play a little checkers. We was purposely made, peace y'all. We was purposely made to feel incomplete. And the thing is, the thing is with these organic portals, we were purposely made to feel incomplete because they want us to chase. They want us to chase and feel dependent. Dependency is one of the main, one of the main, had to get quiet for a second. Dependency is one of the main things that classifies a person being a slave. A slave, he is given living quarters, he is rationed food, Everything he gets comes from another person. So in relationships, even, when, even if you want to have sex, nothing wrong with wanting to have sex. But when it gets to the point that you have to chase for anything in life, that's when you are living for others. You know, people talk about uh, abstinence. And then, I was going to go that way, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of um, mosquitoes because I'm around the water. People talk about abstinence, but I thought about something. Ever heard of masturbation? When you self-please yourself, self-pleasuring yourself? You know, it might not be all that bad. And I'm not encouraging people to masturbate. But why I'm saying this is because... At least while masturbating, 
you are not depending upon someone else. Everything you need is right there inside of you. See, that sex part with the opposite sex, that's just a trick. See, when they purposely divided us so we could be dependent upon other people, they put the bait inside of the woman. And the bait is the orgasm. So you chasing that orgasm, right? And you'll do anything for it because you feel incomplete as a man. So what do you do? Hold on, people. Somebody coming. All right, so you feel incomplete. So what would you do? What do you do? You do anything to get that vagina. You do anything to get that sex, right? Or you do anything to get that female's attention. You go all out your way, right? Living for others. You see, have you all ever heard of MGTOW? MGTOW, it means men going their own way. And on YouTube, I've, I discovered that there are, there are several MGTOW channels. But one thing I noticed in those channels was the absence of higher information pertaining to the male and female limbo or the game or the dance or the sexual relations between the male and fem female you know the dating game that's why this channel is right here this is not a MGTOW channel sometimes you might see me put MGTOW in front of some of my videos that's only to gain another audience if you saw my latest video that I did, I titled it SGTOW, SIGTOW, which means souls going their own way. This is the other aspect to it. Going monk, it means learning how to be self-sufficient. That's what it means, learning how to be self-sufficient. Okay, and like I said, when I thought about it, I said, you know what? Masturbation, pleasing oneself, is a form of self-sufficiency. Because think about it. When it comes to men and women, the only thing a woman can do for you as a man is give you some sex. Because that's why she was put here. And if you want to have children, you can find you a woman and, you know, impregnate her. See that couple? That's two women holding hands like they're in a relationship. But that's them, you know what I'm saying? We, we spoke about all of that as well. And you know what? They, going, they just brought a point to mind. But I'm going to talk about that a little later. See, the only thing a woman can give you is sex as a man what else do you need a woman for you see what i'm saying you don't man you can be that monk that you have always desired to be i think every man really desires to be self-sufficient deep 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 down in the recesses of your being I'm sure that every man desires to be self-sufficient. I mean, who, what man, and when I say self-sufficient, even if you dream that you wanted to be wealthy, you wanted to be rich, you wanted to have money like Donald Trump and Bill Gates, that's a form of self-sufficiency. People want to have a lot of money so that 
they don't have to beg people for stuff. And I don't blame you. You see? But you don't have to have a lot of money to be self-sufficient. But I understand the basis of the idea. That's what I'm saying. And like I was saying, learning how to break away. See, one of the strongest attractions for a man to this world are women. Once you lose that final thing, that horniness, once you learn how to um, bridle that wild horse inside of you as a man, it's easy street. Once you learn, like I did, you know what I'm saying? You can just have sex once a month, once every three months. But once you learn how to understand everything for what it is, once you get focused like I am, why y'all think I've been dropping these videos back to back to back like this? Because I'm getting more and more in my tunnel vision. Like I said, we are getting closer and closer to the year 2020. And once you break away from that lust, that lust factor, and that lust does not only mean for females, but even other things in life. You might lust being around people all the time. That's a form of lust, a form of dependency. Lust, dependency, it's the same thing because if you lust something, that means it's a drug. You feel empty without it. And I thought about that, man, like, even, you know, mating, excuse me, hold on, y'all. For those who don't know and are new to the channel, from time to time, when I'm out in public, the, the old people, the veterans, they know what's taking place. But, you know, for some of y'all new people, you might say, why he pause? And what is that about? They know. Just ask one of them. They, all, they already know. And I'm still on the pause. All right. Yeah, man. Once you get away from um, lusting at the girls all the time and trying to appease them, doing everything for a woman, man, watch some porn, man. Don't 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 masturbate every night, everything, because you don't supposed to to waste your seed like that. Because that ejaculate fluid is that's um chi and energy. If you do that all the time, you'll be tired. Like there's not a man or woman alive who haven't masturbated before. Like I said, when you're on this channel, you can even masturbate in your mind. If you're thinking about somebody, and if you're thinking about something erotic. With a person, you masturbating with them mentally. It's just a normal thing. If you're thinking about food and eating some food and your mouth start watering, you masturbating for a slice of pizza. You see what I'm saying? So, what I'm saying is, you know, that relationship stuff is a form of witchcraft because you're having to sacrifice who you are. Every time you trying to chase after a woman what you're doing is you offering up a sacrifice you putting your time on the altar and you killing time to be with a woman you killing time just to have sex with a female i didn't touch on this in the series that i have been doing i didn't get on this part yet so i thought about it. i said i need to touch on that because there's some men out here who who needs to hear this and I don't want to leave anything partial you know what I mean and um, if you want to completely be free you have to free yourself from that sexual lust that's the lowest part of you that's the most animalistic part of you okay and as a man you naturally, you naturally, if you're a healthy man and you got, you know, high levels of testosterone, 
you're going to be wanting to be with women all the time. And I'm a living read. I'm a living testament of that because I have high testosterone. You know, I'm a man's type of man. I work out. I eat healthy. And I love women. I like the, the contour of a woman because I'm a I'm a straight male. I'm a natural male. So. So in my life, I realized that that this lust factor it has to be bridled. Unbridled lust is not good, okay? And that goes for anything. Like, yeah, today this subject you can probably say this is we talking about addictions now, because this is a part of the whole series that we're doing on living for yourself. Living for yourself also means that you got to live for yourself and not for substances like alcohol, drug addictions, marijuana. You got to let all that stuff go. You see what I'm saying? If you're living for yourself. I know some of y'all are ready to run from the channel now because it's getting too real. You see? Because I know some of you all, you might do those things you might be a habitual drinker or a habitual marijuana smoker don't run now don't get afraid now i told y'all this is summer semester y'all wanted to learn about organic portals where well, here it is you have come to the tabernacle of the united souls and you know how we do it here so if we're going to be living this monk life, you got to break away from all, even television. Some of y'all watching too much TV. You know what I mean? You're watching, you're watching too much television. You're watching too much television. Um, you're playing too many video games all the time. Yeah, that's an addiction. That's not living for yourself. That's living... For entertainment It's okay But Sometimes you have to Just be in nature Like you saw me doing yesterday Now you can do that all day That's not an addiction That's what I'm saying You gotta do more of that Because when you are in nature You are in the tabernacle Of the united souls It don't get no more In the sanctuary than that why you think they call land that they reserve for animals? Why you think they call it a sanctuary anyway? Because it's something holy. It's something holy about nature. When I be in them woods, I don't be thinking um, unpure thoughts. Because I'm inside of a, a sanctuary of nature. It's sacred. You see? So, what I'm saying is... This thing called living for yourself, being a monk, is something that you have to work at every day. Because like I said, they programmed us for years and years and years. So to break away from this programming is going to take time. Oh yeah, something else I want to tell y'all. Do you think, you will, you will be out of your mind if you think I'm going to be living in society when I'm 40 something when I reach 40 when I'm 50 when I'm 60 you 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 got to be out of your mind if you think I'm still going to be living within a city around people no I'm leaving I'm actually I'm I'm leaving off the grid that's my that's my plan I thought about that this morning man you know it just dawned upon me. I was like, man, I'm not about to be living my entire life just, you know, driving down the city streets, surrounded by a whole bunch of people all the time. No, them days are coming to an end. And when I do leave, I'm still going to do my channel and stuff. I'm going to show y'all where I'm staying. I'm going to give y'all a tour and everything because I, I don't I don't see myself just keep teaching this keep saying this and still keep living amongst this i'm trying to be out in nature man if i could, if i could do it right now i would go to montana or something 
or Arizona, something like that, and just, you know what I'm saying, just build me a, uh, a cob house. That was my plan anyway, to build a cob house. I don't know if y'all ever heard of cob houses, but um, you can look it up. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Actually, um, I was going to plan a retreat, and I still am. Maybe for next summer or next spring coming up, because it's, 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 it's gotten kind of late. And I was going to do a uh, retreat where I was going to actually um, gather some of the subscribers and who's ever interested and we could set up a plan to take a summer retreat and I already did the research and we can go somewhere and learn how to build like sorry about that y'all learn how to build cob houses I did the research and they have um, some people are already living like this and that's what my dream is. I want to live in a beautiful cob house. A cob house is made out of everything that goes into the house. It's natural. It's made out of mud, brick. Um, the house is cool on the inside. It stays at like 70 degrees year round. No matter how hot or cold it is outside, on the inside of the cob house, it remains a comfortable 70 degrees all year round. And, and for and for energy, you use like um, solar panels and an outhouse. You can build an outhouse using compost. Yeah, man, all of this stuff is possible, man. Like I was thinking today, man, everything is already here. The ingredients for everything is already here in front of us. So whatever we want, in life we can make it come to reality you don't even have to wish for it you know what i'm saying don't wish just go and do it what is that a wish about just do it see what i'm saying that's that's the point where i'm at like wishing about something wishing upon a star no no i'm going to do it just like i do these videos you know what i don't sit and when I'm going to do a video, when I feel the urge to do it, you know what? I start recording. Hit record. Because this stuff needs to be said. You know what I mean? And something else I want to say, man. Um, I said I was going to get back to it. Remember those, um, that couple I just seen? No, nah, I'm going to save that for something else. I don't feel like going into that right now. But, yeah, man. Y'all just chilling with me right now. I mean, we chilling. Like, I've been putting in a lot of work these last couple videos. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to walk this way. And whatever I want to talk about, that's what we're going to talk about. Damn it. That's what we're going to talk about. Left side, I've been busy these last couple days. So y'all not lacking any information. So um, y'all just hold tight. But anyway, since we just walking and chilling, you seen that couple... Those two women that was holding hands and they, they was walking that dog and I said I was going to touch back on that. What I wanted to say about that is one thing I noticed from just observation and this is just off the cuff. One thing I noticed from observation is that when, um, when you have like a male who becomes like a woman, a transgender, one thing I noticed is that they are very submissive to females like you'll have like a transgender like a RuPaul or something like that who remember RuPaul the old school transgender he was a singer a man dressed like a woman one thing you'll notice about hold on y'all okay one thing you'll notice about when males start acting like females they become very submissive to women and the reason why they are very submissive because the same way they castrated who they were to become a female that's a 
that's a side effect of their mentality from living under this feminism in this organic portal system okay because we are living under an attack the males are under an attack in this organic portal system they have something that they call uh what'd you say i don't have it on me yeah they have something called um toxic masculinity and what toxic masculinity mean what toxic masculinity mean when when these when these feminists try to do what I call male shaming or shaming men for being a man. Have y'all noticed how men are not speaking out about the evils in the world like they used to? Have y'all noticed that? So you have these transgenders who simp. Okay? Now they'll work in beauty, in beauty salons. They'll be doing the makeup on the women. They be combing their hair. They be complimenting them. Oh, talking in that little funny voice because they trying to act like a woman. They taking estrogen pills. Oh, girlfriend, you looking good. Oh, look at you. Oh, you know how they act. You looking good. You go, girl. And then if you go into a beauty salon where one of those um, male transgenders are working, you will notice that they the loudest in the room. And also they be the best dressed. They'll have the Chanel frames on. They'll have the Prada shoes on. I mean, they, they dress better than some of the women. I mean, they go all out with it. But the thing is, they, they, they outdo the woman because they have to prove to the woman, just like a simp who is not a transgender, but he may as well be one because he's living outside of himself, coming down from his leadership as a man like he's supposed to be by nature and he'll come down and take the submissive role to to uh accommodate a woman you know what i mean like like working long hours to just to keep a woman trying to live to keep a, to get a woman's approval the only difference between him a man like that and a transgender is that the simp male who doesn't know his worth as a male, he's, the only difference is he's not cross-dressing and he's still like vagina. But his mentality has been castrated. That is also a sign that a man has been, you know, defeated in his battle between us versus them. It's just another sign. Am I on point? Let me know. It's just another sign. Seriously, let me know in the comment section. Do you agree? I think I'm on point. It's another sign that they have been put underneath. They the walking dead. They a waste of testosterone. They could be using their, that, their testosterone energy for something like this. For setting up a left side of the brain platform for actually fighting against, but yet they rather kiss up. They kiss up on their job. They yes men. You can also be feminine by being a yes man. You a yes man on your job. You a yes man to your boss. You see what I'm saying? And I noticed that, that these men who take on these female roles in life, because they know, see if you, if, if a transgender went into a beauty salon, dressed up like a woman, but was still trying to be the lead player, they would reject him. See, the softer you are as a male, the more women, these, now, these women nowadays, the more they will bring you into the cauldron to be cooked. You see what I'm saying? The more they'll bring you into the inner sanctuary you got two sanctuaries you got this outer sanctuary that that we live in nature and you have their sanctuary their sanctuary is the organic portal realm the jobs the clubs the bars 
the barber shops. You ever been in these male barber shops and they just sit in there and they just talk about a bunch of nothing, man. I don't even like going to the barber shop because you gotta sit in there. Sometimes like I be around men and you be thinking, okay, I'm not around women. Now I could I could feel free. But no. When I go to the barber shop sometimes to get an edge up, it's like you gotta act like you around women, around men. You gotta censor what you say. You gotta walk on eggshells. They be so emotional and feminine acting. Like they couldn't handle a conversation like this in a barbershop. A barbershop full of men, they couldn't handle a, a conversation like this. No, man, don't say that. See, man, you judging people. You can't say, and especially if a woman walk up in a barbershop, you already know. They're gonna be, they're gonna be ready to take their jacket off and let her walk on their jacket like a floor mat. It's like when women enter the uh, arena of men, that competition inside of men, it really turns on them. You know what I'm saying? But women don't do that. What I tell y'all, women work as a collective. When it comes to men, against men, they work as a collective. Even against them transgenders. A transgender, they'll let him in a fold because he is non-threatening. He is non-threatening. I'm going to give y'all a tip. If you want to be accepted in this world, just be non-threatening. Don't have no opinions. Just be like the left wing. Go along with everything that's perverse. 